Hello folks, this is 2018, October, November, paper 1-1, and the question number is 8. I don't know how this question escaped from me till now. Uh, one of my students reminded me and found that it is worth discussing um, in this public forum. So it's concerned with uh, actually, um, we can say kinematics, or even it is, uh, we can relate this to uh, forces as well. So it says a ball of mass M is thrown vertically into the air. When the ball has speed V, the air resistance acting on the ball is F. So what we have to remember here is, when a ball is thrown, ball is thrown and when it comes back, there are two instances, there are two instances when the velocity is same. So uh, magnitude of velocity is same. So once when it goes up, it might be V somewhere here. And when, when it goes, comes down, it might be V somewhere here, somewhere here. So that's why so there are two occasions when the ball has speed V. So when it is at a speed V, the air resistance acting on the ball is F. So what is the magnitude direction of the ball, uh, acceleration of the ball when its speed is V as it rises and it falls? So we have to find its acceleration on the two occasions, when it rises and when it falls. First, uh, let's do the easy one. So let us say uh, during its fall. So when it is falling, when it's falling, the body is under the action of two forces. One of the force is the force of gravity, which is mg. And since it is coming downward, downward, the opposing force will be like this. So this will be force F. This will be force F. So now, uh, since it is <coughs> it is uh, uh, accelerating downward at this time, so it comes to rest here, rest here, and its velocity increases here, at least to some extent, to some extent. So there must be acceleration here. So what we must have is, there should be some resultant force. So the force resultant is equal to equal to mg minus f. And the same force resultant is equal to mass into a, which will be in downward direction. So therefore, we must have ma should be equal to mg minus f. And a should be equal to, so when I divide this thing by m, it becomes g minus f by m. So the value of acceleration during fall is g minus f by m so if you go through the choices uh, choice b number b and d already has disqualified the only choices remaining are a and c <clears throat> now when it is rising when it is rising let us say at that time the force of gravity on it is still mg it is mg mg and uh, since it is rising that means since it is going up here going up here the opposing force should be like this. This should be the opposing force. So therefore, the resultant force here will be equal to, so therefore, resultant force should be equal to, it is F plus mg. And <clears throat> this should be acting downward. So again, this F RA should be equal to mass into A. This acceleration is again downward. And so when it equate them, we have MA is equal to mg plus plus f which gives us a is equal to when I divide it g plus f by m so 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 the answer becomes you can become choice number c should be the correct answer and a disqualifies so one thing that we have to remember here is in both the cases the acceleration is downward and during its fall also it is downward and during its acceleration also it is downward as given by as proven by this thing so here the resultant force when you calculate it, uh, F and mg, mg is more than F, so resultant force should be more uh, towards mg downward. Here it is mg acting downward, F also acting downward, so the resultant should definitely be acting downward. So in both of these cases, acceleration acting downward and the force acting downward. Thank you.